So very good afternoon, uh, my colleagues and my friends. And uh, I know all of us must have seen the full queues in, in filling stations across the country. Uh, very, very understandable that whenever announcements of uh, uh, changes to price of petroleum happens, uh, both buyers and also marketers will, will like assurance of what exactly it means. And typically, uh, consumers will rush the fuel station to fill their tanks, and that is why you are seeing these queues. And also for marketers, they would like to see what exactly this means uh, in the sense that, you know, so how are we going to sell the product if subsidy on uh, PMS is removed? And the combination of two is what you are seeing, the, the obvious uh, dislocation on distribution. And we believe that this will go away very, very quickly. And as you are aware also, uh, as you may be aware, uh, the Petroleum Industry Act has made it very clear that the price of petroleum must be priced at market. That means there must be commercial price for petroleum six months, and that terminates six months after uh, the uh, put bringing into law of the Petroleum Industry Act. That's the ascent of the Petroleum Industry Bill, now the law, that is August 2021. So after that, uh, you do not have a recourse to any subsidy on petroleum motor spirit. But however, uh, our country uh, also decided to put uh, to provide for subsidy in the 2022 Appropriation Act and also uh, half year in 2023. The combination of this is that while the Petroleum Industry Act uh, was clear that petroleum should be priced, but it didn't say that government cannot spend its money in any way it wants. And therefore, we as a commercial company established under the Petroleum Act, we are doing it simply as business, delivering value to a supplier of last resort by virtue of the law but at a cost to the Federation. And that cost includes the cost of uh, subsidy. This subsidy cost should have been money that will be given to the NMPC maybe on monthly basis or even on daily basis if necessary. But however, since the provision of the six trillion in 2022 and the 3.7 trillion in 2023, we have not received no payment whatsoever from the Federation. That means they are unable to pay and will continue to support the subsidy from the cash flow of the NNPC. Uh, that is when we net off our fiscal obligations of taxes and royalty, there is still a balance that we are, we are funding from our cash flow and that has become very, very difficult and affecting our other operations. We are not able to keep some of this cash to invest on our core businesses and, and the end result is that it can be a huge challenge for the, for the company. And we have highlighted this severally to government that you, you, and they must uh, compensate NMPC, they must uh, pay back NMPC for the money that we have spent on, on the subsidy. Uh, fortunately, also by virtue of the provisions of the law and also the, and the Appropriation Act 2023, it is no longer available for that funding. And the corporate, we are very convinced today that the country can no longer fund this subsidy bill and they will not be able to pay NNPC. And therefore, we are happy to please to note Mr. President's commitment to uh, elimination of this subsidy because they can't afford it anymore. And we will take necessary steps to ensure that uh, we recover our costs from the market. And also being mindful of the fact that, you know, a situation like this can lead to exploitation of uh, of customers, and we are also working with the regulator who is here with me to see how we can cap any such uh, excessive uh, uh, management of uh, uh, greed, to, to say the to say the least. And this will be contained by virtue of the provisions of law, the the authority or the Nigerian midstream and downstream regulatory authority, and the anti, -comp anti competition uh, agency. They will play their part, and and obviously my colleague is going to speak by it. Otherwise, we we'll believe very strongly that uh, this is actually belated. Uh, we have been doing uh, subsidy that has not, of, not significant value to, to the rest of the Federation and the rest of our countrymen. And we think this is a very, very commendable step taken by Mr. President to bring into effect the provisions of the law. And thank you very much. Uh, we also understand that the provision of the law uh, that provided the removal of subsidy from February 2021. Therefore, Mr. President's uh, pronouncement yesterday was in line with the law. However, what I can assure you that, that uh, 
as an NDPRA, we are ready to license anybody that wants to import because NPC has always been the, the supplier of uh, premium motor spirit. However, with the removal of subsidy, as pronounced by Mr. President, that has opened the floodgate for any intended uh, marketer or, or uh, company that, that wants to import uh, premium motor spirit in the country. We are ready to issue licenses uh, for, or permits for them to do so. At least that will open uh, more competition and the NMPC now will reduce, of course, uh, the burden, the, there will be less burden on NMPC to continue uh, with this. So that's one. Number two, I also want to reassure the public that uh, ourselves, uh, NNDPRA and the Federal uh, Co Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, uh, FCCPC, uh, will make sure that uh, uh, the customer or the consumer is not taken advantage of. Because I had a discussion earlier with Tunde, the uh, commissioner of uh, uh, FCCPC, and where we, we tend to work together to ensure that the, the consumer is not taken advantage of. Secondly, or thirdly, I want to call upon all the marketing companies uh, to open up their, their petrol stations and depots to sell to the public because uh, uh, they will hear communication from NMPC because NMPC currently has uh, all the stock in the country. And NMPC will do their transfer price. And when you ask what is going to be the price, I cannot tell you exactly because it's, it's, the market is deregulated. Therefore, it's going to be an open market based on the cost of delivery. So NMPC, of course, will advise all the marketing companies uh, 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 very soon to say this is their transfer price. And on the basis of that, they are now will translate into what the pump price is going to be. So there's not going to be any cap per se, but it's going to be based on the cost of importation. And again, I repeat, ourselves and the FCCPC uh, will ensure that the, uh, the consumer is not taken advantage of. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, first of all, the Petroleum Industry Act, that is the statement I made earlier, uh, said that six months after the enactment of the Petroleum Industry Act, petroleum motor spirit will be priced at its commercial value. So there will be no subsidies six months after the enactment of the PIA. That means by February 17, 2022, there should have been no subsidy on PMS. Now, uh, the National Assembly and government, in its wisdom, provided for subsidy in 2022, despite the fact that the provision of the PIS said terminated by 17th of February. So government can decide to spend its money anywhere it wants and can bring circle and relief to its citizen. This is very typical. It happens all over the world. But however, that provision in 2022 and also 2023 has not been funded by government. A greater part of it is supported by the cash flow from NMPC's other businesses. And therefore, even though there is provision to the end of June, there is no financing even from the start. And therefore, since you can't pay, you cannot expect NMPC to continue to carry it. And this has been the position that the NMPC has taken. And what the president simply says is obeying the law and also the realities that uh, the Federation can no longer pay NMPC for the burden of subsidy that we are carrying. This is, there's an ongoing conversation and engagements that we have not completed, but uh, this is the reality today is that government cannot afford it. Uh, it will be a further engagement that will, will take place, uh, but this will be very clear in the market. Yes, please. We are, our position is we are supplier of last resort to the Federation. We are a commercial company. We are supplying to the Federation during the subsidy regime. Now, I'm also aware that government will act to bring succor and relief to our country people. I know this government is very sensitive and they will do this. So there are engagements that are ongoing to bring into effect that component of it. So NMPC will not do anything because we are a commercial company. It, is not, it will not come from NMPC, but I'm aware that government will do something ar around this. But the reality is that you cannot give what you don't have. So today, the country don't have the money to pay for subsidy. There's incremental value that will come from it, but it is not an issue of uh, whether you can do it or not, because today we can't afford it. 
and they are not able to pay our bill. That comes to how much is the Federation owing NMPC now? Today we are, we are waiting for them to settle up to 2.8 trillion naira of NMPC's cash flow from the subsidy region. And we can't continue to build this. And the last one. Yeah, that is the that is the beauty of the. Yes, I can take it after this so that I don't lose track of my thoughts. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, that is why the regulation is good. So I can't give you any price now because the price in the market changes. It goes up, it comes down. So if I give you a few go now, we are fixing price. Thank you very much, Chairman. Yes, sir. Well, actually, actually, uh, there are a lot of. Uh, uh, points that one needs to, to meet, you know, condition that needs to meet. So I cannot give you all the rundown now, but I can bet you that uh, just the way uh, marketers import diesel or jet carol, there are conditions for all that, and the same condition will apply to those who want to import uh, premium motor spirit. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much.